What are the biggest mistakes that purpose-driven coaches and consultants make with their message? Sounds like something you need to know, am I right? Listen, mastering a unique brand message, it can be tricky. There are so many ways that people get this wrong. And to be honest, all of the gurus are not helping. They're making this way too hard and way too complicated, which is why this is such a struggle and why your message isn't working to elevate you and connect you to your audience the way you want. But I approach creating your message completely differently. And there are some simple ways to make sure that you get this right. Because that's what I specialize in, breaking down the complex into simple, doable steps that you, yes, you, can master so you can own them. Now, I could talk about this all day long, but I won't. Instead, I'm going to walk you through the five biggest message mistakes that purpose-driven coaches and consultants make and how you can fix them. Because I'm not a monster. Speaking of which, have we met? I'm Wendy White, messaging strategist for coaches and consultants who are ready to become thought leaders and need to confidently communicate what they do and why it matters so they can rise above the noise. Welcome to The Compass. This is my weekly show. Every Wednesday, I'm sharing my best strategies and tips and tutorials to master that unique brand message that you need if you want to pull away from the pack of cookie cutter entrepreneurs. So let's dive into today's topic, the five biggest message mistakes that purpose-driven coaches and consultants make. So the first mistake is simply not prioritizing your unique brand message from day one of your business. Listen, everyone jumps directly to creating all of the marketing things. They're working on the websites and the social media strategy and the publicity and the emails and the videos and the quizzes and the challenges. But here's the thing, every kind of marketing out there, it's just a tool to get your message out. If you don't have your unique message clear as crystal, none of that marketing is going to work. You have been let down by all of the shiny object marketeers and the fluffpreneurs, but putting out lots of content and constantly working to try to game the algorithm is not going to make up for the fact that you don't really know what you want to say and who you want to say it to. And I think you know this. The good news is, Nailing your brand message is the thing that's going to make all of that sales and marketing that you've been slogging away on actually pay off. It is the thing that's going to allow you to impact a grander audience, and it's going to allow you to bring in your truly ideal clients quickly and simply. As a bonus, it's going to give you the confidence to do both. Sounds pretty good, right? So your fix here is pretty simple. Prioritize your unique brand message right now. No matter where you are, no matter what stage of business you're in, whether you were just starting out or you're 10 years in, you need to put this at the very top of your to-do list if you want to become a thought leader. So how do you do this? How do you create your unique brand message? Well, I promised you simple and I promised you step-by-step and here it is. Let me introduce you to the Extraordinary Impact Equation. This is my four-step formula to create a message that makes an extraordinary impact. Here it is. Mission plus market plus messaging plus momentum. Following this is going to make sure that you are approaching creating your unique brand message in the simplest and quickest way. This extraordinary impact equation, it underlies everything I do from my challenges to my workshops and of course, extraordinary impact, my live group coaching program. And it's why my clients get such ridiculous results. So let's talk about what everyone else is getting so very wrong here and how you can make sure to get it oh so right by avoiding these giant message mistakes. So the second big message mistake is not starting with your mission. That was the first thing I said in our extraordinary impact equation, right? Mission. But there are far too many experts who are advising purpose-driven coaches and consultants like you to find a market with a need and build a business based on that. They tell you to focus on what the market wants to buy without first taking into account 
what you're here on the planet to do. This is how you end up building a business that doesn't fulfill you because it was not created with your purpose at its heart. As a bonus, this is also how you end up with a message that's generic and sounds just like everyone else out there in the market. So no wonder you're not standing out. But your mission is where your message starts. It's essential if you want to create not just a business, but a brand. It's how you differentiate yourself. It's how you rise above the noise. It's how you show your audience that you're the leader they're seeking. So your fix is to clarify your mission. It's going to center your business. It's going to allow you to carve out that unique market position that you need as a thought leader because your mission is where your message starts. Now, your third giant message mistake is not truly connecting with your market. I just talked about how important your mission is, and that's fantastic. And there are a lot of coaches and consultants who recognize how important it is to focus on their mission. However, then they stop right there, and they skip by the need to deeply understand their target market. If you're not tuned in to who your ideal client is, quite specifically, and what they want, you will not reach them. In fact, you'll be talking right by them. This is how you end up as a best kept secret and not making either the impact or the income you want. So your fix here is to make sure that after you have really clarified your mission, you connect with your market by honing in on your truly ideal clients and what they want to hear. Because this is where you're going to convince your audience to buy whatever you're selling. All right, our fourth biggest message mistake. It's not creating compelling messaging. Practically everyone in the market is failing at writing copy that converts because they're simply going about creating it the wrong way. They leap directly to trying to write copy without knowing what they want it to say. And until you know what you want to say, all the fun, punchy words in the world will say nothing to nobody because they're based on nothing. This is why the extraordinary impact equation is in this order. There's a reason for it. There's a method to my madness. It's mission plus market and then messaging. You need to have nailed your mission, what you want to say, and your target market, who they are and what they want to hear. And then we can copy these concepts. Then we can create truly compelling messaging. So your fix is to craft come hither messaging by combining your mission and your market into a clear and compelling offer. And finally, we are on to our fifth and final giant message mistake. You will not be surprised when I tell you that the mistake is not creating momentum. Too many gurus are out there making crafting your message and getting it in front of the right people so very complicated and so very overwhelming that it simply halts you in your tracks. And you've probably experienced this, right? They drown you in these giant creative writing projects that end up living and dying in Google Drive and never going anywhere else. Plus, they insist, insist that you must create a horrifying Rube Goldberg marketing machine of doom. You know what's better? Getting your message created and implemented as soon as humanly possible so it can influence a greater audience and bring in those truly ideal clients today, not someday. So your fix here is to make sure that you are creating momentum by getting your unique brand message out into the world quickly and simply so that you can start making your extraordinary impact now. This is what I wanted to get across to you today. Do not fall victim to these five giant message mistakes that purpose-driven coaches and consultants are making. First of all, prioritize your unique brand message from day one of your business and make sure you approach creating this in the right way using my extraordinary impact equation. One more time, that's mission plus market plus messaging 
plus momentum. Now, if you would like to dive deeper into any of these topics, check out more of my videos because I talk about this all of the time. And if you'd like to know more and find out how you can become part of my world, click on the link below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Now go be extraordinary.